This is a practice exercise, yes, for CAT or A2 level. Here we've got some speaking cards and there is a pair work. So each student will receive one card, student A, student B. And we have to make a dialogue, all right? So this would be part two of the speaking test. Let's see the situation. Here is some information about the dentist. You don't know anything about the dentist. So you ask your partner some questions about him, her. Y vamos a poner el neutral, them. ¿Mm? Que es el que se usa para cuando es neutro. So the first question we have just mentioned is, what is his or her name? Entonces, como el student B en este caso tiene la información, Mary Brown va a contestar con el possessive adjective que corresponde. The corresponding possessive adjective, yes. Her name is Mary Brown, all right? What about question number two? What can you say? What is her or his? No, story? ahí está, very good. Con her estaba perfecta porque vos ya sabes que es una woman. You already know that. So, what is her telephone number? Excellent. Who can answer that? I sorry, my spelling. Who? What is her telephone number? What would you say? For appointments, tell. Yes, but you don't need to say for appointment because you're you need to call her for an appointment. I mean, it's okay if you start with that information, all right, but it's not so necessary. What would you say? The phone number. Is her. her. Remember to include the possession here. Her phone number is what? Number by number, digit oh. by digit. Nine, Nine. Eight, zero. In this case, we say O. Oh for telephone numbers. Oh. 980 Good. Let me see her phone number. Remember that you can also say it's, no, pardon, it's directly. It's and the number. Okay, you can see that. And that's it. Okay, good. What can you say next? Appoint, what is an appointment? Do you remember? An appointment. Una cita. O sea, cuando tenés que pedir un turno. Okay. So, pay attention to the time. And it says appointment evening. And look at the time. When she's open and when she closes. So, what would you say? Can I have yes. an appointment on... No! Uh, no! In, in the uh, evening. Good. Can I have... Excellent. No, que se me corrigió solito el capital letter acá, eh? El I always with capital letter, please. Appointment in the evening. Excellent. And what would you answer? Can I have an appointment in the evening? The doctor finishes at 8 p.m. Yes, y este vamos a usar el new neutral, neutral you. Yes, you can. You can add more information. She stops working at 8 p.m. And that's it. Can I have an appointment in the evening? Yes, you can. Any questions there? Julie, any questions? Or it's okay so far? All right, good. Tell me, yes. So, um, address. Address? Doesn't say. Mm. Here. Look, look, look. It's here. What is her address? Yes, that's it. What's her address? Era email address es otra cosa. Y acá puedo contestar lo mismo. Her address is 17 Mount Street. Remember that in English we start with the number and then the street, okay? O directamente it's uh, 17, comma, Mount Street. And that's it. Or her address is 
Mount St 17 Mount Street. Good. One more question. Car Park. What can you say there? Where mm -hmm. is the car park? Okay. Before asking where, it's okay. Where's the car park? See because, I... claro, very good, Julie. I, I would prefer to ask that. Do you remember how to say that? Where is the, the question park? invert Are there a car? No, only is one there a car park? good can you repeat is there a car park? excellent is there a car park nearby si no se lo acuerdan no importa yo les agrego information for you to remember and to use more vocabulary is there a car park nearby hmm? and uh, como se llama student B va a contestar yes there is all right, yes, there is. Where is it? Or, oh, as you said, where is the car park? Como yo recién lo mencioné, el car park, queda mejor decir, where is it? Or, oh, where's, it's the same, eh? Where's the car park? Where is it? Hmm? Can you tell me? It's in Waterlane. Very good. It's in Water Lane. And that's it. That's the end of the conversation and the practice and this type of activity, okay? So let's start reading. Uh, Tiago and Julie, can you read? You ask the questions, please. What is his, her, their name? Well, but you choose. Ah, okay. His or her. I did ask his or her. Vamos a ver si vamos a mejorar esto. What is? Porque no sabemos nosotros. I'm sorry. His or her their name o sea, his or her name or what is their name clear yes. Espera, vamos a para no confundirlos pones what is his or her name or give me a sec what is their name y ese their acuérdense que es neutro all right start, start again choose one cuando tengan more options choose one what is their name mm -hmm. Her name is Mary Brown. Okay. What is his telephone her. number? Because that now you know that it's a woman. What's her telephone number? I forget the intonation también, eh? What's her telephone number? What's her telephone number? It's 9804723. Can I have an appointment in the evening? Evening. Evening. Yes, you can. She stops working at 8 p.m. Remember to pronounce the S. She stops. She stops working. Mm -hmm. What? What's her address? It's 17 Mount Street. Good. And finally? Is there a car park nearby? Nearby. Nearby. Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. Where is it? It's in Water Lake. Water lane, perfect. Water lane. All right. So that was the best, the best way, because you chose the the questions perfectly. All right. Very good. Clap your hands. Bye bye.